Trinity and I are going to be doing a little workout. Go ahead and take control of your, your vessel, your body again. Once upon a time, I worked at a place called Golden Life Fitness Centers. That was when I first came to Texas, 1989. And I was a young kid, uh, 29 years old. And so I was an instructor there, and I still had this shirt left over. They made really good shirts back then. So what we're going to do now is show after quite a few years later, I'm going to be 66. So this is how I want to go into 67 in better condition, more fit than I was in 66, which is better than I was in 65, 64. It's better than I've ever been in my life. And I want to let everybody else know how to do these things. So I'm going to go to working out again. I haven't worked out in a couple of years. I have some workouts online. But Trinity and I are going to go ahead and show you how for women, which is different than guys, how these exercises are going to be able to work. Now, the, wing, the, the first thing you want to look at is where are you at now? And physically, what are your limitations? And uh, Trinity has to deal with a, an ankle that's bad, a knee that's bad, or has been bad, um, and, and various things that are considerations when you're doing your workout. The same for myself when I started out. I have a, a broken back or a scoliosis as well, um, and other issues that I had to overcome when I started working out and doing these um, routines back when I was about 54 years old. Now, what are you working for? For some people, it's going to be one goal, and others is different. I want tone. I want muscle tone. I want my body to be slim, lean. Um, I've been as much as 205 pounds. My son got to be about six foot four, so I thought I'd get bigger and stay. He got to be bigger and couldn't stop that. Um, so uh, it's not size. It's how much of the muscle you have that you can contact, neural contact, and how it looks. Um, and is it lean, or has it got a lot of fat in the muscle? And how does it work for strength? So we're going to do a couple of, and more importantly, not to be all muscle bound. So how um, um, uh, agile are you? How able are you to go ahead and stretch? Because it turns out the, the people that stretch the most, not the strongest people, um, live the best when they get older. They're not all arthritic and tight and bound. And so I used to do some weight exercises in my 40s. And um, what I found is I couldn't even get my shirt off when I was done. It's like, ah! So I, I think differently now. So I want you to think that way when you start to work out. Working out in a gym without thinking about your agility and flexibility is, is kind of foolish. So first test we're going to do is this is what you should do, not necessarily while you're watching it the first time, but come back and do a rerun. And later on, as you come on about the same time, three or four times a week, and do a little workout on a mat. Get a mat about this size. And this is maybe a three foot by five foot mat. And the reason is you'll be able to do a lot of this workout on the mat in case you have other things that you don't want to be standing on or sitting on outside on, you know, dirt. So to begin with, some of the simple things, for example, stretching. You want to be able to stretch. But for a lot of people, what's that mean? I can touch my toes? No. I can kiss my knees? Yeah. That's not something I could do when I was younger. I was actually unable to do this all my life. So... I want you to try to do those things. And as you do that, on the workouts that I've done in the past, you'll see that you can actually gain that. Now, another thing that I didn't understand you could do was that maybe one day you'd be able to stretch. And so I tell people, don't try this on your first kick or your first stunt or your first attempts. But if you'd have told me when I was 55 years old, by the time you're 67, this will seem like a very simple trick. I'd have said, ha, 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 never happened. So, what I wanted to try to tell you is that you can do things that you never thought you could do when you're young. And I mean, never thought I could do this stuff. So, I'm not in perfect form. I realize that. But, likewise, you can also do other things. So, there's different kinds of push-ups, for example. You want to test yourself. What can you do? Some people say the triangle push-up. It's like this, diamond. Doing this way down. Way down to the bottom of your chest. That's really good for you. Okay? You can also bring them up here and do them in your nose. Also very good for you. You can also go way out here and do them. Now, if you want to really push yourself, make sure your feet don't slip. You can go all the way out. This is called your party trick. Most people don't do this. What's a party trick? You bet money. Bet money. Ooh, you can't do that. Watch. Toes and fingers. Thumbs together. Hooray. Can you stand up without touching anything but your fingertips? 
from your toes. Now, the average person is not going to do that trick. Why is it important to reach this point? Because it's all about taking care of your body and overcoming what might have killed you otherwise. I also have not a bad condition, but Marthen syndrome causes a concave chest. Other things. So, what I want to teach you all how to do is to be able to go ahead and learn to control all your muscles. What's that mean? You also have muscles all in your chest. So you want to learn how to get control. Remember that? Chippendale guys. So the idea is all those muscles on top use isometrics for a lot of people instead of weights. In women for the chest, all these muscles you see in the middle, ah, right in there. All that and then stomach. You want to get that baby hard. Good core. Some of the exercises you do for that, you see these feet together in this one series, and it's like this. You start off, and you can do these. There's all sorts of little movements, and they're tied and associated with breathing techniques, which will teach you. This is another one, you breathe into your nose. A lot of these are um, considered breathing techniques like pranayama. This is a real nice one, all the way up, all the way back. You do about six, eight of these. This is a little tight on the feet. Normally keep about this far apart. That's more challenging. That's less challenging. Also, if you learn later on, we'll do the horse. So you're sitting like this. That looks easy, doesn't it? It is. Yeah, if you have a question, sit and talk to each other. Now, even while you're watching this, for most people, you can just sit like this. Simple, right? Put your head on your heel. That's the simple way, easy way. But, average person is not going to be sitting there doing this with me when I'm doing it. You know why? This is actually an isometric exercise. These muscles right in here, they get really tight. Start to burn for most people. Start to shiver. And they, oh no, I can't make it any longer. Well, this is part of another one. So normally what you're doing is, or you're doing these exercises. These are all part of it. Of course, you stand stood up. Ideally, you only going to make about five minutes. So, we're on keeping this 10 minutes today. Why? We want to show you what's possible. Not just for anybody, for a lot of people. There's things you can do for balance. I've got the boots on, it makes it a little harder. Normally you're going to do this barefooted. You're also going to learn how to breathe through your nose. Breathe through your belly. These are techniques that people learn in India and all sorts of places because it brings better health, better circulation. Longevity. Longevity is partially your job. It's not the doctor's job. You're dependent on the doctor for longevity. They don't make it past about 65 in the career. They get out of it. And they don't look like this. They keep going. Now they got Medicare. And getting checked out. And they keep saying, yeah, you should be on statins. Like, no, I can change my diet. No, you can't. You can't. I did. Oatmeal, raisins, nuts. Instead of six, eight eggs. No time. All your numbers come down to a reasonable level. Now, you want LDL. And you want HDL. Because HDL is high density lymphoids. That's what your brain's made out of. Now, if you can stay in this condition... Take care of yourself. Get in this condition. But as long as you're trying and moving toward that, and not killing yourself with alcohol, and not smoking cigarettes all day, and not taking a bunch of crappy food and poisonous, and doing a little bit of diet stuff, you can drink down and get younger again. Get youthful again. Not to mention you build mature neurons in your heart, in your brain, and in your gut. And mature ganglion. 
these operate at much higher speeds and with like 11 outputs at the intersections instead of three. This is all stuff you can learn. Why didn't anybody teach me when I was a kid? Nobody seemed to get it all together. But there's enough people out there now. You can study epigenetics and learn that you can change your genetics with Dr. Bruce Lipton. You can study with Doug Braden and see that there's a whole different world out there that's invisible. And Joe Dispenza. And these men have all helped go out there and show that with a trained placebo effect, in other words, the mind, body, in other words, gut, heart, and brain connected up to the spirit, which of course is ultimately whatever name you want to call it by, source or God. And if you can make that linkage, you can get back incredible health. Now, isometrics. The idea of controlling your muscles. So it's not a weight. You can imagine the weight. If you can envision the weight. Now, why the mirrors? Because as you learn your body, you want to be able to go ahead and see the muscles. Did I contract that muscle? Am I holding that muscle tight? That's what part of this is. Shoulders. My God, when I first started these. Um, we're on. Ah. So, the point of this is, if you want to get in shape, at 67, I hope to be in really fine shape. I plan on putting on about 8 or 10 pounds. But we're back. Okay, kids. We keep going and flashing in now. So, we're going to give you one show of what, for me as a child, would have been my dream as a kid, as a teenager. So, why? Some people are gonna gross them out, but to me that Bruce Lee look, this is what I wanted to grow and be when I grew up. Join me in Trinity. Find a you thing. It's possible. Please.